This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Julianne Condia, host of Rewritten here on Public House Media. Thank you so much for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Rewritten, where we will talk about you having limitless potential and can rewrite your story at any time. No matter your background, your past, or current situation, you can have the type of life you crave. A new show comes out every single Monday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Rewritten. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Your hardest times often lead to your greatest moments in your life. Keep the faith. It will work out in the end. Welcome to Choose to Rise. Welcome to Public House Media. Those are some very powerful words. Your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments in your life. Have you heard that? That your strength or that your struggles make your strength in life? That, you know, you've heard me say before that there are two rails in this world. There's, you know, like a train car balancing back and forth on the rails. And, you know, sometimes you're going to be leaning on the struggle and sometimes you're going to be leaning on the joy, but you need both of those rails in life to keep moving forward. You know, a lot of times in this world, we're going to feel defeated, overwhelmed, disheartened, and life just isn't going to go the way that we want it to sometimes, you know, but you showing up in a way that you remember that there is two, that there are two rails for you, joy and pain, and that it will bounce back, uh, back and forth all the time. That's what's going to help you be an overcomer in life. That's going to help you, you know, really show up for yourself and keep going because no matter how much, um, you know, life happens, sometimes is just going to stink. Bad things are going to unhappen. Unbelievable things are even going to happen. People are going to get hurt. Jobs are going to be lost. Relationships are going to be broken. We live in a broken world. We are broken people, but we can remember that God is perfect and he's created a perfect space for us post earth. And when we can really feel like sometimes that life is just too much to handle, we must first remember and go back to that, you know, we are perfect beings created for another time and another space. And so when we can really focus on being an overcomer in this world, really looking at all the things that, you know, going back to the Bible teachings of of victory and knowing that we are not destined to stay here, but to be overcomers and live a life of love and joy and grace and mercy um, in heaven above, um, we know that we can live this life in a better way. So, uh, you know, as I reflect back on my life, there are lots of struggles that have happened to me. I've been bankrupt. I've been, I've had my heart hurt with relationships. I have lost jobs that I really wanted. Um, I didn't, maybe didn't get the job that I was really gunning for. You know, um, you know, there's been some certain things in my life with my with my relationships, with my parents, with my, uh, you know, everything in life. There are all kinds of things that can cause struggles. And um, when you can really look back and reflect on those times of your life, there's always been something good that's come out of it. And so today, I want to um, help you uh, see where those things are. I want you to help you find the good things faster and find ways to be an overcomer in the hard times of your life, especially when you feel like there's no um, way around the obstacle in front of you, I want you to take one of these tips and strategies today and apply them to your life. Maybe you're stuck in a storm right now and you just can't find the sunshine. Maybe you are in the sunshine right now and are kind of a little leery about when the storm clouds are going to roll in. But just know that there's always a way out. And number one is it won't always be this way. That's kind of got to be a mantra in some ways, you know, this statement holds true whether you're in good or you're in pain right now. You know, this this statement's really helped me get through hard times. I used to fear change sometimes. In fact, I hated change a lot of times. I had major um, anxiety over some drastic changes. But then I realized that change is a part of everyday life and we can't stop changing. So we have to accept it and embrace it. And when I started accepting change and I started, you know, preparing for change and I started taking it on as a, as a good thing and as a way to grow and to shape my new life and to know that 
well, I've, I've been, I'm super prepared for where I'm going because it's the, the path that God's laid out for me. I'm also reminded that because things won't always be this way, they will get better eventually. And if you're stuck in a hard spot, this can be some words of encouragement to you. So if you're going through a hard time right now, really just remember that it will get better. Your your wheels are going to tip back on the joy uh, joy rail of your life and it's going to get better. The second strategy I have for you is to learn from it. They say that struggling today often gives you strength for tomorrow, and I 1000% believe in that. I believe in the statement so much that during my struggles, you know, when I was asking, why me? Why is this happening? What did I do to deserve this? Those kinds of thoughts and things kind of pop into your head, but then you have to really think and listen and say, what can I learn from this? Because I can blame bad luck. I can blame other people. I can always try to find the victim role in life, but if it really wasn't your fault, okay. Okay, but there's always something that you can learn from every situation. And if you're not learning from it, then it has no purpose. So it's easy always to identify the things that have gone wrong and maybe whose fault it is. But when you can really take that negative situation and learn something from it, find the good because there is good in everything. Everything happens for us and not to us. And when we can have that mindset where we're looking for positive things from every situation, good and bad more of our life and we get stronger in the situation and we can learn from it and be better for it. The third one is to ask for help. I know that um, I'm a very independent woman and uh, I don't like asking for help to do anything. In fact, I'd rather just kind of shut myself up in my office or, you know, in a space and just get to work, right? Um, But asking for help is a very powerful thing. Um, You know, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps is a, a noble thing to do. But you know, being able to ask for help and know that you don't have to be self sufficient, you can only be self sufficient for so long when faced with struggles. Um, I've, when you finally ask for help, and someone helps you through that, it can be a humbling experience, but it is so rewarding. And so once you can see that there is kindness in the world, it can also encourage you to move forward. Because when you need that little bit of hope, when you need that little bit of light happening, for you in this world. A friend, a neighbor, a coworker, a complete stranger can be there to shine that light for you and help you get out of it. So ask for help if you need it. Number four, forgive or ask for forgiveness. So many things have been written about the power of forgiveness and so many quotes, books, and articles, and it really is a super important part to have a stress-free life. I was once super bitter about a past situation, and you know I've blamed other people for how things have happened. I've held grudges because I believed it was the other person's fault and not mine. I've held on to uh, poor, broken relationships because, and it really... I just, you know, when you hold a grudge against somebody, you're really punishing yourself. And so um, when I've learned that and I've figured that out and forgiving that person doesn't necessarily mean that I have to be happy about what happened or I don't have to, I don't have to like really create a, a beautiful, loving relationship with that person. I'm just letting go of the struggle and letting go of the negative vibe and letting go of the things that are holding me down. So forgiving the other person does not mean that what they did was acceptable. It just means that what they did to me no longer has power over me. And so when you can do that for yourself and forgive the people around you, or better yet, ask for forgiveness for the things that you maybe did to other someone else, you will feel so much joy and so much peace in your heart. I promise you. All right. So number five is live in today, right? We, a lot of us get so caught up in what is in our past, what is in our future. Um, we worry about the things that have maybe gone wrong or not been good enough in the past. And we, we really worry about what's going to happen in the future. But if you are living in that kind of way, you're forgetting about what's happening right now. And, you know, during, you know, some struggles that you, that we need to get taken care of, we always just had enough. Um, and when you can really focus in on today, right now, and enjoy Enjoy the moment. Um, you don't have to be worried about what's happening in your future because those things are going to happen anyway. And the stuff in your past you can't change at all. So focusing on the good now and the positive things that are happening in your life. And in a previous podcast, I talked about how um, your thoughts become your words, become your actions, become your habits. So by focusing in on the good things that are happening and what's happening right now in your today, um, focusing on the positive things that you want to have happen in your future, that's, that's how we're going to get going forward in a stronger way. Number six, find a strong support group. This was key for me in creating a healthier lifestyle. 
finding a support group of friends. Um, it can be family members. It can be coworkers. It can be uh, people that are going in the like direction that you are wanting to go. For me and my health journey, it was finding other women who were trying to, you know, slow down and take care of themselves that were, you know, self care was becoming a number one priority in their life. And when you surround yourself with people like that, you start to eliminate the negative relationships in your life and fill your life with positive relationships. It's super important to maintain relationships with friendships with people that have your back, that will be there for you no matter what, no matter how hard life gets, and to nurture those positive relationships and never let them go. A rising tide raises all ships. So find a harbor that is rising the tide, right? That is, you're not isolated, that you can do life with people and that you can be encouraged by them. And so find a support group of people that want to, you to, to do well. Number seven is control your controllables. Yeah, I didn't say control everything. I said to control your controllables. A dear friend once shared with me that and, that, and this completely stuck with me, I can only control myself, my actions, and my reactions. I cannot control other people and how they react, what their thoughts are, what their deeds are, what they're doing in their life. I tried everything in my, my past to manipulate, to threat, to ignore. I had these scenarios scenarios in my head of how I was going to get someone to act a certain way. And if they just did that, then I could do this. But really, that's just kind of, that's just nuts to think about actually now that I think back on it, because you definitely cannot control anyone else's thoughts, words, and actions. You only have control of yourself. So when you focus on that, focus on what you can control, life just gets a whole lot easier because you have less worry, you have less stress, you have less um, desire to make change in other people, and you really just focus on who you are. Brooke Castillo had a really phenomenal um, episode in the Life Coach School podcast. And um, I want to share that with you if I can find it here real quick. Um, Returning Models is what it's called, episode 274 um, of the Life Coach School podcast. And this was a really great episode that helped me um, really understand this one of how how even still today, I try to manipulate what other people think about me. Um, and so, which is in turn trying to control them. <laughs> um, and so it was a great episode to help uh, process through some of those things, even the smallest things that are super subtle in your life. The next one is to believe in miracles. Yes, believe in miracles. Even during struggles, we need dreams and hope. If we don't have hope, then we can't possibly see beyond and where we need to go. Our thoughts become our reality. Have you heard me say that yet before? If we're thinking negatively all the time, we're only going to bring negative things into our lives. And if we have negative thoughts, the key is to have less of them, right? So start filtering out the negative thoughts in your in your heart and mind and focus on the positive things. Re- replace them with the things that you want to have happen in your world. We need to allow ourselves to dream big. We need to have hope in our life. We have to have um, a positive outlook on where we're going so that we can actually go someplace that is good and prosperous and wonderful. And so we can become an overcomer in life because we know that there are good things ahead of us. Number nine is the absolute best medicine that you can give yourself if you're in a stuck, stuck, struggling place is to laugh. Laughter might be the one and most instant mood lifters outside of having a strong and encouraging relationship with someone. A good friend can cheer you up. A hilarious comedian can make you remind you of how good laughter is for your soul. And it can really just help you feel good. It releases positive endorphins inside of you and helps you just live life in a better way. So have some fun. Be a kid again. Go have a little fun with friends. Just laugh in general and be joyful all the time. Number 10 is to love. Take a chance to love again. Even if you've been hurt many times before, don't give up on love especially self-love. When you can hold your heart open, your whole heart open and, and love who you are, you know, put, take down the walls that you've put around it and love your children, love your family, love the people around you, love yourself. Most importantly, take a chance on love. Um, everything else gets better when you can open a relationship with love. So if you have Um, You know, if you really think about it, like when you uh, put up walls and you put up limiting self beliefs and you you shut down happiness, no one wins in that situation. And so, when you think about the hate and the negativity, um, everyone loses in those situations. So look for love. You know, I I kind of looked for love in the wrong places. Sometimes I forced things to happen because I just don't. I didn't want. to not be loved. Um, But when you find self-love first, uh, be patient on those things. Because when you find your self-love, you're going to find more love showing up in your world. Because again, what your thoughts, 
and become your reality. And so when you can find, um, you'll definitely become an overcomer in this world. You'll definitely find more hope and for and more love and more self-acceptance and more just positive things in, in your world. When you choose to love, when you choose to laugh and be, um, be joyous, believe in miracles, control the controllables only. Find a strong support group. Live in today and forget the past and don't worry about the future. Forgive and ask for forgiveness. Ask for help when you need it. Learn from the struggles that you've been a part of in this world and always know that it won't always be this way. And so when you can know those kinds of things and live your absolute best life in those kinds of ways, know and understand that your hardest times often lead to your greatest moments in your life. We live in a yin yang world. We live in a place where you're going to be riding those two rails of your life. And when you can keep the faith and know that it will be worth it in the end, that your struggles are creating your strength in this world, life gets a lot better and you'll be able to live more happy and free. So thanks for joining me today. If you like this show and you want to find more of the show, head over to chooseriseup.com. You find past episodes, you learn more about what I do. You can also check me out on Instagram, KJP Meyer, and follow along there um, for some daily motivation, as well as the podcast that comes out here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So thanks again for listening, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. 